little end of the day garage video here. So I worked on this uh, motor a little today. Got the uh, new pulley installed there Went with a scat chrome pulley. Got one on my car and it works really good. And uh, it's not much more than the stock one. Got a new cap there and uh, attached the uh, hoses down to the heater boxes. So uh, I have to put a couple more bolts in the intake manifold and plug that hole and bolt the carburetor down and this thing should be ready to go back in. Also put the clutch on the back of the motor, set the end play. So we have the uh, new clutch there, new bolts, and uh, new disc, resurfaced flywheel. What's up Tozers? What is it boy? What is it? No more kitty points. So uh, I got the tranny apart too today and uh, not what I wanted to find. This is a 412, not a 388. And uh, they're wanting to drive this on the highway, go to shows and stuff. This is sort of an in-town box. Uh, has a 412 ring and pinion instead of a 388. There's the uh, diff down there. It's 33 on the ring gear and eight on the pinion, which makes it a 412. 4.2 or 4.12 so uh, we'll have to clean that up and uh, I'm going to torque the nut the pinion nut here is loose and uh, I'll go ahead and torque that up we'll put a new seal on here we'll seal this up and then uh, probably down the road build a freeway flyer for this to give it a little more legs on the highway I know that's what they eventually want so uh, Rather than go in here and fix reverse on a transmission that they don't want, we're not gonna pull the gearbox out. We'll just seal the uh, rear end housing, put the uh, main shaft seal in, and the two flange seals, and call it a day on this one. We're gonna assemble it. Got the uh, girdle off there. One of the mounts broke loose. Got to do the other one. So we'll put those mounts on, paint that uh, mount piece and uh, reassemble this. I'll check the backlash with the uh, dial indicator before we put it back together. Make sure it's not too noisy. And uh, other than that, that's, a, that's about it on this tranny. Uh, we'll be looking for a 388 or uh, a freeway flyer box. One of the two. So, so that's where we're at. That's what's going on. It's just me and the cats. Three of them today. Mm hmm Hey, Dart. That's a Dart. That's taking off. We got engine and toes. This is my favorite rat right here. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite, but that's mine. That's my favorite. Meow, meow, meow. Right, engine? You know you're my favorite too, don't you? A little spoiled cat. A little spoiled cat. Toes is my buddy. He likes to hang out in the garage and work on cars with me. Oh boy, yeah. So anyway, maybe tomorrow we'll uh, get this knocked out. Not tomorrow, Monday for sure. I got the surgery center thing on Tuesday. So we'll do that and uh, probably chill the rest of the week. But uh, that's where we're at. I messed with the top on this a little bit today and pretty convinced the frame on this is pretty much done. And the top just seems too tight on the frame. Uh, I think the top has shrank up quite a bit. So this uh, frame is pretty bent up, needs a couple pieces. And it's also uh, the distance between here and here is too short. That's why it's in a bind here. And I'm thinking this is pulling everything together, making it too short. Uh, when you push the windshield forward to stretch it out, these lay flat but the roof starts pulling too tight. So, probably gonna go with a new top on this, I don't know. Pass this on to a top guy. You could bounce a quarter off that window. It is pretty tight. Uh, I know this isn't the color that they're eventually gonna wanna go with. I wanna go with like a tan with the uh, orange bottom, like the bus sort of. So, uh, I threw a hubcap in here for him. 
since they've gotten so much work done from something to hang on the wall, sort of the color they want the car. Uh, it's covered with dew right now. I don't know how good you can see it. But, uh, there you go. The old skull in there with the flames buried under the candy. I did a bunch of these. I have a bunch of them. I was going to sell them, but uh, nobody showed any interest. So they're just hanging out in the back room. I'm going to let this guy have one, though, for his wall. Figured that'd be cool. Sort of the color he wants his car. So, yeah, give him something to look forward to. Oh, anyway, yeah, that's what's happening today. I out with Andrea a little today. Went and picked up some uh, coupons with her inserts. Did that thing, went to Orlando. Spilt a whole bunch of gear lube on the floor with my uh, good hand there. It let go of the, 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 the drain bucket there. I had it all in the drain bucket and I went to pick it up and drop it and then I made a mess. So, bought some kitty litter tonight. I'll come out here in the morning and shovel that dirt up and uh, throw some kitty litter down. Take care of that. Wash up all these tranny parts and then reassemble. But anyway, not a lot going on. Put that video up today for uh, Vera and for uh, Milo. A couple of you guys have already uh, made donations and I appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna put a hundred bucks in there. So, uh, you know, help, help a little bit. And uh, that's what I can afford. I can't really afford it, but it's uh, what I feel like I need to do. And uh, so many people have reached out and helped me over the years on YouTube that uh, it's just, uh, you know, what goes around comes around, I guess, kind of deal. So I uh, tried to call a couple of you guys and some of your numbers were no good. So I left you little uh, comments if uh, your number didn't work so I can get a new number from you. A couple of uh, YouTubers that are in different communities. Uh, I keep track of some of them. We're uh, friends and uh, Some of you guys work out of state out of your local area and uh, for some reason your phone numbers that you've given me Aren't working. I don't know if it's the type of phone you have or what it is, but I left you a message And hopefully you'll get back with me and uh, hook me up with your number and uh, I think all everybody knows how to Get a hold of Andrea. The email number is actually her phone number. So if you uh, need to call us, that's the number 386-216-4626. And uh, she'll pick that up most of the time. Uh, I have to put my number out there for some guys that want it. And uh, I'll do that. I just have to find the number. Every time I look for the number, it's never in my phone. So. A piece for the big block today. One little piece at a time. I got a distributor hold down today. So, uh, yeah, I need a water pump and uh, a water pump and some other little stuff. And uh, I can get back on this. Just uh, been sidetracked lately and uh, haven't been working on the Nova much. And I apologize to the guys that are wanting to see this build. I want to get it done. I want to get it running for sure. But it just takes some time. But. All right, I'm going to shut this off. Just trying to uh, give you a little look at what's going on. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Be looking forward tomorrow to uh, Sunday morning coffee with uh, Mr. Niffin. You guys go check that out. If you don't check out Adam every Sunday, he does a thing called Sunday Morning Coffee. So I figured I'd give him a shout out. I sort of uh, watch that every week. And, uh, you know, it's a dude that's uh, opened a shop and he started in his garage and now he's uh, in a 5,000 square foot shop. And uh, he's steadily progressing his business, trying to do it a lot of us want to do you know do our own thing so uh, check him out trials and tribulations of a business owner pretty cool and uh yeah not a lot going on in the youtubes so we're in pella 1963 was in the junkyard 
getting some parts today. He put a few videos up. So Jake and Alan made a video. Always good to see Jay. And uh, yeah, saw so Shoe Nice uh, put up like 200 videos today. Got a lot of his videos in my feed. I haven't seen Shoe Nice since the uh, YouTube party. So there you go. So <clears throat> another thing me and Andrew have been kicking around a little bit is uh, YouTube Garage Gang party. We did one in uh, Daytona Beach. Uh, two years ago now, I think uh, a lot of you guys attended. I think we had about 80 people show up and uh, I think we want to do something like that again. We uh, enjoyed the company of all the youtubers and uh, Enjoyed having a lot of people in one place and uh, it was like a big frat party. It was uh, pretty cool A lot of the guys aren't drinking anymore, but I'm sure it'll still be a really good time uh, Just maybe a little more coherent but uh, seriously thinking about doing another YouTube party. And uh, I'll probably mention it in a couple of videos. I might go over to the uh, beach. So some uh, spots that we have in mind, maybe for a little uh, beach party or something. But uh, if there's some interest in it, you know, you could express your interest in the video and uh, try to put something together. Uh, like I said, we had 80 people show up last party we had and uh, I'd say it was pretty much a success everybody had a really good time uh, Greg Porter drove down brought his uh, Gia gave everybody rides and uh, it was pretty much a good time we had some people from England show up and uh, Bob from Canada came down and uh, we had people from all over the country show up uh, to Daytona Beach for some uh, not so impressive weather so hopefully the weather will be a little nicer this year or whenever we decide to do it. But uh, I'm thinking that's something I need to uh, continue on and do once a year. I know a pisser does a party. And uh, a lot of times I try to make it to his party so I can uh, meet some people in different areas of the country. So I don't know if pisser's gonna do his party this year, but I think I'm gonna do mine. And uh, I think we'll try to make some plans and uh, give you guys some details on that and see what you think. And then we'll kick it around. Uh, what are you doing? Weighing yourself? Huh? Why are you on my scale? Are you picking a color chip? Hmm? Do you like to watch the numbers? No wonder my scale is never correct anymore. Huh? No wonder. I always have to reset it. I always wondered what was going on out here. So there you go. I found the scale bandit. And it's the cat. Seems to really be infatuated with the numbers. You just can't yell at a kitty cat. Might want to get down from there. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah, you good kitty. Meow. Are you a little fat cat? All right, Toes, keep an eye on her, will you? Oh, yeah, she's not having it. Right back to the scale. Right back to it. All right, engine, say goodbye. We gotta go. It's late. You guys have a good one. Uh, thanks for the prayers on HPR there. I don't know if you noticed his uh, family left a comment on the video that we put up and said that he was doing good. And, uh, that truly is a miracle. Uh, I got the call from his wife, and I don't know if they're still together or not. I don't know what the situation is, but she seems to always be around when the chips are down. And uh, I got the phone call that HPR wasn't going to make it, and uh, that he was on life support. And uh, they called his family in to come tell him goodbye and take him off life support. And when his daughter Haley came in the room, or one of his daughters, uh, I can't remember which one, but he woke up before they turned him off. And uh, it's pretty much a miracle. So I hear he's doing better today. And uh, hopefully, whatever, you know, is bugging him, he can find some peace. And 
get back to normal. Hopefully everybody can find some peace this year in 215 and uh, things will go better for some guys in the garage. But uh, we could have lost two of the garage members this weekend and we uh, luckily still have one with us. So thank you for the prayers from HBR. His uh, family thanked you and uh, you can go back on the video and see where they left a comment. So. Thanks for supporting the guys in the garage, and uh, I know we don't always get along 100%, but uh, for the most part, I think we uh, get along and care about each other, and uh, that's pretty cool in today's uh, age. So, pretty cool, the garage gang group and the YouTube community together uh, make a good pair. So let me shut this off, and uh, I'll come out here tomorrow and get some more stuff done. And bolt some rockers on, adjust some valves, some wires on, and that'll be done. A couple of exhaust bolts, and then finish up our training so we can button this thing up. So that's where we're at. Let me uh, do something with this cat because it's walking all over my stuff.